Hello, it's Polish Paul VR. Welcome to my channel. I've got freshest PSVR news in the village and we're gonna start right now from Firewall Zero Hour. A game that people lose their shit over. What an awesome game. Highly, highly hyped and very good. Everyone loving it. People lose their shit so much that they go to toilet, they have a shit, look down and it's gone, missing. It's like, where's my shit? It's gone, lost, forgotten. The game is great, awesome, but every rose got its thorns. And Firewall got few issues as well, but fit no more, the developers gonna address them, there will be an update, and that's what they said they working on at the moment. Setting up a squad with squad mates. They are aware that sometimes your friends are placed on separate teams, a very well known issue, quite frankly very annoying. So they saying we are evaluating and improving squad handling and understand that people want to play public contact modes with friends to earn XP. So that's what they gonna work on and also they gonna work on the host performance. They said they currently using peer-to-peer -peer format and that if the host decides, oh fuck it, I'm leaving, everyone else game is affected. So they said, we are working on improved in-game messages and a way to protect the loss of progression for players when it happens. And they say they're reading all the feedback, watching all the streams, just they are everywhere all over the place, they might be even watching you right now. Because they want to keep working on this game, keep improving it and rightfully so, because this game is awesome and we all loving it, we all can agree now. Firewall Zero Hour delivered big time, the devs did great job, everyone is happy, everyone is playing, it's just pretty awesome to be PlayStation VR owner, so very happy days, indeed. But let's speak about something else than Firewall, because guess what, there's other things happening as well. Shit. And I'm gonna tell you what it is right now. Trophy showed up for Dark Eclipse. Dark Eclipse is a MOBA game. If you don't know what MOBA means, it means Moist Orangutan Boat alcohol. And in this game it's player versus player, you can control free like a characters, lords, the leaders, you using your move controllers, but the game is playable with dual shock and I'm talking about it because it was announced when the game first was revealed that it will release in spring 2018, but it's kind of didn't, but now it looks like it might be even in September, so that's great stuff, this game should be with us very soon. The developer said at the beginning it will be one versus one, but in the future they will add 2v2 and 3v3 and also in the game there will be bots so you can fight offline with the bots. It looks great, we don't have many MOBA games, like it's a very dry front on this desert of games. So, finally, we're gonna get a proper one, looks decent, Spike Chunsoft working on it, happy days again. But, still, this is not everything. If you don't have enough shooters and you want to use your aim controller even more, you feel like you really fucking need to shoot some more shit, then let me speak a bit about Honor and Duty, did they open beta? Because it might be dropping very very soon. All problems are sorted, they gonna go to the final QA on September 6th. The game is pretty much ready, so hopefully if everything goes well, we will have it on 18th of September. And they gonna submit it for EU and US release, so they want to release in all regions at once, so there will be plenty of player to play, of course open beta for free, why don't pick it up and play together. So what is the meaning and what is the message of open beta? So at first there will be system where you can team up with six others and just spawn together and chat together and shit, they have voice chat working, so that's pretty cool, you'll be able to talk to your friends, squads of six people, very nice. In the first phase of the beta there will be limited vehicles, there will be tanks but you'll not be able to drive them, you'll be able to shoot them, but if you want to drive tanks you can drive them offline. But you'll be able to drive jeeps and trucks in open beta, they just gonna be like limited amount, because obviously they concentrating on the performance. But of course, while this beta is out, they're gonna be improving and improving the game. So in the final phase of the beta, they want you to have access to all of the vehicles. There will be two maps and two game modes, team deathmatch and free for all. Very nice. This game will be awesome. You'll be having cars, tanks, just people to shoot. Your mates, voice chat will be working, you'll be able to use multiple controllers, of course, aim is support. Everything about this shooter sounds very, very good and it should be out on 18th of September. Even more happy, happy days. But now let's talk about the Golem, a game which was in development since 
forever and is in development slowly slowly but what is the latest what is the update let me talk about that because road to vr managed to talk to the devs and that's what they said the game content is largely complete and the current work on the title is almost entirely optimization there was a bit of confusion that they lost copyright to the name or something i don't know but apparently it just was like delay in renewing the license whatever i, I don't know but it's happening that's basically the meaning and the message of it there will be something like dark souls in terms of structure not white open terrain but there will be like seamless areas free navigation and you'll be able to like go through them they'll be like connected with each other so apparently it's still releasing this year how it's gonna end up hopefully very good it seems good on paper i think they've been reworking locomotion and combat but probably that's done by now so hopefully we will see golem soon if anyone still cares anyway. And Apex Construct, a very very good game landing on disc in US, it's ready, it's, they're selling it, you can go to shop and buy it. If you like your physical copies then it's out, it's out there, you just need to order it or physically go to shop, walk in and say, excuse me, I would like to buy this game. And while we're talking about the Apex Construct, the Signia Coupe, this is out on PC, like a update for the game, like a challenge mode, but it's not been out for PSVR, so what's been happening? Developers let us know today that they've had very hard to squash bug, but hopefully soon they will sort it out and then we should have Signia Coop on PSVR as well. And Downward Spiral accidentally released lately on Australian store, some people bought it, played it and liked it, but it's not there now, it, they said, come on, take it off, it's just a mistake, Sony. So. The proper release date for the game is September 18th, not that long at all. But as I saw some streams and I watched it, the game looks pretty cool. And in other news, finally I've got some time to put you more contact again because I've been like, past last 8 days I've been at work like 12 plus hours all the time. I didn't have time for shit. And also I lost my shit. Where is it? I lost my shit over Apex Construct. But now I'm nearly ready to start working on the channel again. Tomorrow is my stack do, so I'm gonna get shit-faced. But after that, before the wedding, I try to put some cool content out for you. And that's it. Bye.